Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to show you how to use Adobe Acrobat to remove a single password from a bunch of PDF files. So I have created a folder and I've put a bunch of PDF files in it that have a password. And I've also put some of them in subfolders so you can see that it's going to pull from those. I created a folder called Password Removed. It's also down here, so we'll be able to see where the files go after the password's been removed. And then we're using what's called actions in Adobe, and we can save the action steps into a sequence file, which I'll be giving you. So these are the two sequence files. The first one is overwrite, and that one will remove the password from all of the files and overwrite the files. So you have to be careful that if you have make sure you have two sets of the files. And then the second one will, it's a little bit safer, it'll remove the password from the files and then copy the new files that don't have the password to a new folder where you point it to. Okay, so the first step we need to do is we have to go to Edit, Preferences, and we have to go to the Action Wizard item, and we have to change this from Do Not Ask for Password to Password Security and then click OK. Then we're going to go to Tools, the Action Wizard section, and then I've already added it here, but I'm going to show you how I added it. So I went to Manage Actions, and then I went to Import, and then I just chose the SEQU file, okay, and then click Open. I'm not going to add the other one because it's the same idea, only different. So click close here. And then just see so in case you don't know what actions are, this is where the action was created, create new action. So basically you can take any of the steps that you do in Adobe and build a little um, sequence down here, um, sort of like a macro, only different. Okay. So we're going to click on the action to start it. And this one's been set up to give a little message here to make sure that you know what you're doing and make sure you already set the thing under preferences like we already did. Okay. And then at this point you can just click next. And here's where you want to add the password that is the same on all of the files. And then it's asking you where the files are. So I'm just going to choose a folder. Folder 1. And as you can see, it's pulling in all of the files, including the ones in the subfolders, which is nice. Click Next. Choose a folder where you want the, the ones without the password to go. So I just chose password removed. It runs through and removes the password automatically. And then it tells you it's done. And then these are the files that it created. So let me show you beforehand what it looked like. So if I go into folder one and then file A, it's prompting for a password to be able to view it. So now, File A just opens right up. Okay, so that's it for today's tip. I hope you can put that to good use.